Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now. The King of Clay has regained his crown in the Principality. Rafa Nadal grinded Gael Monfils in the final to capture his ninth Monte Carlo Rolex Masters title in front of a festive crowd that included Prince Albert and Princess Charlene, Caroline Wozniacki, Rafa's girlfriend, and designer Tommy Hilfiger. Rafa, of course, is a Hilfiger brand ambassador. This is Rafa's first title of 2016, his first Masters crown since 2014, and his 28th Masters Championship, tying him with Novak Djokovic for the all-time Masters lead. A revitalized Rafa defeated top 20 players in succession. Dominique Thiem, reigning French Open champ Stan Wawrinka, world number two Andy Murray, and Monfils to take the title 11 years after his first Monte Carlo championship. Given Rafa's sharp form and strength and confidence, and the fact that world number one Nole lost his clay court opener, what does this mean for Roland Garros? Nadal is closing the gap on Wawrinka for the world number four spot, which would help his seeding for Paris. We've got the entire clay court season to look forward to now, but what do you think is more likely? Rafa winning his 10th Roland Garros crown, or Nole breaking through for his first French Open title? Odds makers are giving it to Novak with Rafa as a solid number two. Maria Sharapova celebrates her 29th birthday on April 19th, and she kicked off the party in Coachella. Maria was all smiles arriving at the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival. Five-time Grand Slam champ racked up the wristbands, getting the VIP treatment with some all-access passes. She shared video of some of the artists she got to see, including Sia, Guns N' Roses, and Ellie Goulding. And dancing days may be here again for Maria. Last time we reported on the World Anti-Doping Agency's admission that it cannot say with scientific certainty how long meldonium stays in the system. That could clear the path to lift Maria's suspension, which means she could return to action this year. Here is what some of you had to say about it. Robert Meebane says, anytime there are clearly doubts regarding a player violating drug policies, the player should be given the benefit of the doubt, at least until and unless definitive proof of a violation is identified. Charles Kay says, it obviously hasn't helped her game that much. Give her a pass and let her play. Connie B says she'll be back. The sport needs her. Serena is totally unmotivated, smiling and clapping for her opponents when they beat her. Serena needs Sharapova to make her angry and competitive in the sport. All right, moving on now. Gail Monfils is so entertaining. Even his pre-match warm-up is crazy cool. Check him out using his feet to practice his serve. Wondering if Gail was inspired by young Matt Walsh. Check this out. When Serena Williams isn't busy working her day job, she moonlights as an acrobat. Serena looks like she's got a future as a Cirque du Soleil performer. She is so strong and flexible. Serena showed her superhero side, hanging out with Maleficent, who's actually her buddy, actor Colton Haynes, dressed as the Sleeping Beauty character. Caroline Wozniacki has been nursing an ankle injury, but that has not stopped the former world number one from taking in some tennis in her adopted hometown. Wearing a cast, Caroline sat in Gail Monfils' support box during his Monte Carlo final loss to Rafa Nadal. The SI swimsuit model took to the Mediterranean for some water rehab with her dad. And everyone loves a good party with the legends. Caroline joined Hall of Famer Bjorn Borg, Tatiana Golovan, Roger Federer, and Grigor Dimitrov at the Monte Carlo Rolex Masters Party. Grigor shared this selfie, sandwiched by his tennis heroes. And you know it's gonna be a great day when your morning run takes you to this majestic Monte Carlo view. And congratulations go out to Kim Kleisters, one of the few women to win a Grand Slam title after giving birth, took to Twitter to announce that she's pregnant with her third child. Kim and husband Brian Lynch are the proud parents of daughter Jada, who's eight years old, and son Jack, who is now two and a half. 
You may recall that Jada helped her mom celebrate her U.S. Open titles in 2009 and 2010. Kim, who celebrates her 33rd birthday coming up in June, typically spends part of her summers in New Jersey, her husband's home state where they own a home. Two-time Barcelona champ Kay Nishikori played for a triple crown this week. Kay kicked off his title defense, hitting with Nicholas Amalgro on board a ship for a promotional video. Kay also hit with Rafa to promote the tournament coming up in Barcelona. Rafa is an eight-time champion there who owns a 43-3 record at that event, which is played in Spain's oldest tennis club. Let's see if he continues that winning role. That's the news for now. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.